Hmm. One minute you're in your office working hard, minding your business. The next minute you are trending, you're going viral. <laughs> God, I beg. Bloggers need to do better. Seriously. <laughs> Welcome back, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new here, hi. My name is Salako Ifeolua. I film about fake lifestyle stories, business, a little bit of this and that from Charlie Ray State, Nigeria. In today's video, we got juice, juice, and juice, guys. <laughs> Let me see if I can pin this in. Um, is this sitting? Nicely, I just want you guys to hear me. Okay, so in today's video, I came to report myself. Yeah, all right. So, in case you missed it, in case you didn't get the memo, in case you were not informed, I went viral. Yep, uh, this is me. Yeah, we are moving on the water. Oh, my word. Have you ever done this in your life? <laughs> 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 I did my first time uh, and then I was told that I said I would not fall. Let me just stay in the middle. Uh -huh. So we are moving on the water. Can you see? Can you see? Yeah, right. Okay, okay. We are plenty of passengers on board. One, two. Okay. See, see, Adam Mawakopa behind me. Mr. Mawakopa is running away. Back to his boot. <laughs> he's running away, so he's not staying. But don't worry, I'm staying, okay? So, I love this to show you guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's me. Um, you're probably wondering how I got into this situation. Okay, okay, calm down. I'll explain. So, yeah, last week, Thursday, um, April, the, what's today? Today being 21st. Uh, Saturday is 20th, Friday is 19th. So, on April the 18th, I went viral on social media. Now, it's so funny because it wasn't just on one IG handle, like Mazi Tunde Ednot. Yes, Tunde Ednot posted me. I think I don't want to, I don't even know how we got the video because I'm still as shocked as you guys are, I'm still as surprised as you are. But, Every which way, yeah, he got that video. He posted me on his IG and then merged me with a couple other videos. Now, Tindy Ednot, it wasn't just Tindy Ednot, we had the likes of Gossip News TV, Niger. We had the likes of, um, is it Bros J on Facebook? And a couple of Twitter landings on, um, on Twitter, like, posted the video. He also happened to be on the YouTube channel. And on TVC News, that was even the height of it for me. And I'm like, you know, I was so I was so baffled. Now, not because I was surprised that the content was out, but I was surprised at the intention behind the content. Like, I don't really understand. Okay, so um, we not we I don't want to say that could have been the reason why they posted it, but obviously that was the reason why they wanted reactions, right? Now. That video was filmed, the video was filmed like five years, about five years ago. We are talking November 2019. So I'm sure it's like November 2024 this year, it's like completely five years. So it's about five years ago, right? We're in 2024 at the moment of this video as I speak here. Now, this video was filmed about five years ago and that was when I was posted to Taraba State as a core member. Obviously, I don't know what it feels like to come to Taraba. That would literally be my first time coming to Taraba State. And lo and behold, we got to Benway State, and there is this local government called the Yuku Local Government. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Apologies to Benue people, Benue indigenous. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but then we got to the local government area of Benue State, and 
that was a shortcut we were supposed to take before we get to Taraba. Now it's a border. I, I believe like after Buruku, where we are going to um the next the area we are going to get to was a border or is a border to Taraba State. So we passed through and obviously in Buruku Loka, a Buruku local government area that is the way the the uh, that's the medium of transport because we have to pass through a river now we going through that river is like a shortcut of a shortcut that will save us like two two plus hours or yeah, about two hours plus of journey if we are meant to go through another route called zakibiam to Tawa state here yeah? and that particular route is that particular route is notorious for insurgencies, notorious for attack, notorious for harm robbery. So apparently, if we were in love with our lives, we wouldn't pass through that access. We had to go through the Buruku local government area to get to where we were going to here. Yeah? If you have been to Zakibiam, you will understand that there are a lot of checkpoints at that particular axis. And in fact, I guess there are some points whereby we all the passengers have to alight at that same Zakibiam route we were trying to avoid. Because I once passed there at some point when I came to when I was coming to when I went to Southwest here. Yeah. Mind you, I'm still in Taraba State, but when I went home like two years ago, we still had to we had to pass through the Zakibiam roads. Okay, and now because my driver was hungry, was just being petty at the moment here. Yeah. So we had to go, we were willing to because of his pettiness, we were willing to go through that long route to punish with the passengers. I mean, but that's um that's an anyway story for another day. So yes, he gets to a point at the same Zakibiam route where all the passengers would have to alight and then we have to act actively trek through to some like we have to trek to a particular point before we are allowed to enter the bus again. Yes, that is how serious that route this is. Among other reasons, are why the driver will have to pass to the local government area, that local local government area of Benue State, so that we can assess Taraba State here. Yeah? So it's more like a boundary level. So yeah, and there are perks that are going to be looking at government here. One of the perks includes all of them includes getting a whole bucket, a bucket of oranges for as low as two hundred naira. Yes, right. Bucket of oranges. I think if I can still find videos of some oranges I got, you know that it maybe I can slot. If not, I would let's say if not, you will see it here. So yeah. You get buckets of oranges, buckets of mangoes for as low as 200 naira. You will see sugar cane very long, and then we get we get as much as as we want. Like it is so cheap. Like getting fruit at that part of the world or that axis of Benue State is so freaking cheap here. Yeah? So there are always sellers are always on either side or traders are always on either side of the river. So either you're there, you know, you're on budding toe or when you're coming through, you would always see traders selling oranges and mangoes in buckets for as low as 200 naira you can get as much as two dozens depending on the size of oranges in a full bucket anyway so that's by the way so we had to pass through Buruku local government area of Benue State, like I said, to assess where we were going to. And from my understanding, that is how it has always been for years. So apparently, we don't even have a choice but to go through that as is. And this is not a case of we are being informed prior. Like, for example, I bought the vehicle, it was a direct vehicle from Lagos State, Nigeria to Taraba State. Now, if you're coming from Lagos State, Nigeria, you're passing through, you're going to pass through Ibadan from the route we took, Lagos Street, Ibadan, through to Oshun State, through to Ondo, Ondo and Ekiti, through to, um, uh, is it Edo now? I think, yeah, I think Edo State, then through to Kogi through to Benue State and then through to Taraba State here. Yeah? So these are the routes we are going to pass through for us to get to Taraba State. So it's not like they would inform you at the car park in Lagos that we are going to pass with our men are buy life jackets or we are going to pass with our they don't get life jackets. Please, I got to Benue State. We're not supposed to collect my transport fare back. <laughs> I cannot understand the pettiness behind the comments that was made under those Video. Because of a recent video of a recent um, incident of an actor who was alleged who, who allegedly lost his life due to 
the use of no life jackets then this video of mine was put out that trigger out whatever reaction i don't know what the purpose or the intention was but i mean that was the most part of the reactions under the comment section which was totally not fair and then let us bear in mind that this video was filmed five years ago we are talking as far back as november 2019 early in the first week in november there about 2019 because i was i was meant to resume campground on the 5th of november i think i got to campground on the 4th of november so definitely this video was shot on either the 3rd or the 4th of november 2019 because it takes two days like you're going to sleep over on the road when you're traveling from southwest from Lagos specifically to Taraba state here yeah? so we slept on the road I filmed the video at the time now we found out I don't even know where it was dug out from either on my youtube channel I can't even seem to find it but I have similar other videos of crossing through that same river on my youtube channel right so it's like a normal routine on that axis of the road now there has never been a provision of life jacket at any point am i saying that there is no place or there is no um there is no uh am i saying am i trying to say that there is no possibility of accidents of course there's possibility of accidents am i trying to say there's no possibility of damage of course there's possibility of damage that could have happened loss of life and property but i truly understand that in that particular axis of the road there has never been a provision of life jacket that is basically how commute is run in that axis of Benue state here yeah? and for as many of those who are coming as long as you are going to assess taraba state provided you are going to pass through Taraba State, you need to go through the local government area of the shortcuts or the saving yourself of a longer journey of two hours plus because you're already spending two days, nearly two days on the road, and you can see an opportunity to cut your journey short and you are going to not take it because you're scared of the water. Now, bear in mind the way it is run in this part of the local government area is they have, I don't know if it's a channel they call it. Or both, but you, you know, it, it can be both. It's not like a cano, solid wood of cano, where the bus and its passengers would, I would, 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 would be on that cano. Okay, so the bus, the driver would drive the bus into the cano, right? And most of the time, it's always on the on the on his seat, so he will be alight most of the time because by the time he drives into the canoe is expected to drive out of the canoe at the other side of the river so yes the driver is expected to drive into the canoe while with the passenger i guess to ease the pressure of both the bus and the driver on the canoe we are all expected to come out and sit you know or come out and stand whichever whichever one suits you yes yeah? so those are the um, those are the options we have to go through that canoe okay guys so i decided to put in a clip all right in this video so that we can see for the bus parts because what i showed you guys as illustration was out of the car but this is the bus and see all the passengers trying to go on board you know the guys in charge of these routes you can see their job just to put the plank and all of that so till we all come on board yeah so just see this for yourself vehicle that drives the motor that drives the boat that video i also saw that it was merged now for the most part obviously i was the queen of the actor or the, or the actress in the video because i mean i don't know what what other name to call myself so in that video apparently i filmed what well, mine was about one minute and few seconds but the one for all the core members who for other i don't i don't want to say they are i don't know if they were core members or not but other group of ladies where they were saying jeringo they were holding panther and all of that those were completely different videos that were added to my video 
thank you um, to all bloggers. I like to say thanks to all bloggers who put the video out there. I understand that you guys want people to learn a lesson, but I also want to honor. But I would also have appreciated if it could have been stated that this video was an old video, so it wasn't like it's like it couldn't have misled people because most people actually thought that the video was like the video was done recently, or even happened recently. And guess what? Whether or not we lost an actor, right? This is still how they continually commute in Brooklyn local government area of Benue State. So I think this is a call out there to the to the government of the state to, or government of even other states who have similar water transportation uh, routine in their local government to provide personal protective equipment for anybody who will be going across board from 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 bank to bank or from border to border or from a place to another place across the river you know all of these are just protection you know protective measures e.g we have the life jacket and all of that e.g um probably not to overweigh the kennel or to check out the kennel's maintenance from time to time and at the end of the day it's god that's protecting everybody all right because we're all because we're all just saying oh life jacket she didn't wear life jacket they don't have sex you know i want to also say something that as much as probably you were not in the video or you don't know how this video happened to be or you don't know the way of life of how things are done in that particular area yeah. and just because somebody was able to I, I I basically documented that video because it was new to me it was new for me it was an entirely new experience I had never experienced it before like the way it is thrilling you people or the way it is surprising you guys you view as the same way it surprised me all right this was we're talking about five years ago and I was like you know what i'm going to record this moment and i feel that solely because of memories only because of documentation so that i could show us how that do you guys know that it is possible to drive a bus into a canoe is it and do you guys know that both canoe and both bus passenger and drivers can successfully alight to the other side of the river do you know that this is a medium of transportation in this part of Benue state do you know that this is a shortcut that was the intention like excitement discovery all of that and more the reasons why that video was documented like i said if you go to my youtube channel i have other videos i'm going to link them up here other videos where i also filmed that particular that particular um, um location now let's bear in mind that for the kennel of course for every kennel you see on in the water we always have there's always a moto a moto attached to the kennel that allows that propels the kennel that propels the kennel in the right movement and propels the kennel to also move you know on the water here yeah? and this is like a daily routine there are always divers in each kennel i'm not saying all of these are measures of protection but those are those are like the best way they get to relate or they get to run their daily activity in that part of the new state i've heard uh, i wear really like jackets but that is in the condition that i can't bring like jacket from my house right the local government has to provide life jacket for me to even pass through the government to provide life jacket please write the driver to drive me back to jalingo or drive me back to lagos we definitely have to pass through the route right and let's bear in mind that even if it, even if it is road transportation not everybody wears a seat belt for example only the front seat guys wear seat belts people at the back who person on the back what seat belt do we have to even like say okay we are going to save that ourselves so there is risk in every medium of transportation either by hair either by water either by land now question that may come to mind is am i excited that i went viral yes i'm excited that i went viral because it just means that somebody saw my content out there and then decided to post it but was i happy with the intention of the reaction it generated was I happy with the intention they had to put out the video? No, the intention was honestly not so nice. And I understand that you might want to warn Nigerians how they to be more security conscious or more safety conscious, but also you didn't know what happened you don't know how old that video was like it wasn't i don't think there was any right of it was any right of anyone to actually use that video to spite or to spite others because as much as yes we put out our lives out there we, we document memories like if this was not documented honestly most people in nigeria would not even know that there is a medium of transportation as such or there is 
yes, the medium of transportation that involves a bus on a kilo and passengers on a kilo commuting to the other side, to the other bank of the river. Yes, that was like, if that video was not had, then most people would not have known. But for the fact that it was used to chase clouds for somebody else's demise, I feel it was not honorable. It wasn't honorable to the person's memory. It was not honorable to the person's family. It just did not make sense to me. It just did not make sense all right so yes i don't think it was nice i honestly don't think it was nice at all but yes yeah let's bear in mind that this is a normal thing in Buku local government area of Benue state so if we are all concerned i think if we can reach out we can reach out this video can get to the governor of the state to provide life jackets going forward for people who will be commuting in that axis and we also have other local governments that i know of that they go through the same river medium twice so that in the comment section where people mention other areas too where they have to commute via water case in point another thing is that in that same video we're not all core members fine we're just i think we're just like two of us who were core members and we were added notice because that was where we were posted for service so we were added to civil camp of taraba state so yeah, the other videos that were merged i don't know who were in those videos but if they were core members obviously they were either going to taraba state or they were going to adama that video was filmed five years ago it's an old video thank you to everyone who reached out to me to know if i was fine thank you to everyone who asked me to know if i didn't carry over my nyc i did not carry over to the way of god as a shame of the devil i am done i, I finished nyc in 2020 yes and this is me four years after of course i'm working uh and I'm doing great, you know, to the glory of God. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please do also subscribe if you haven't. Um, hit the subscribe button if you haven't. I promise you it is very free, okay? So subscribe to my channel. Um, share with your friends. Comment in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao, ciao.